What up, y'all? Mm. What? What, I didn't warn you? You wanted me to wait? The timer ran out. Mm -hmm. It's not my fault. The timer ran out, dude. Sorry, I had to take it, etc. and I have a headache. <sighs> All right, everyone. Battle Royale, bitches. Are you okay? You're making a like, disgusted face. Yeah, I have a headache. It just, like, came on all of a sudden, randomly, right as we have to start. That sucks. Why did Niffler say bruh? Bruh. Okay. T, hello. Bruh. Hello, Niffler. I surprisingly really liked this book. Um, I surprisingly didn't. Yeah, like, I don't know. I, I went into it just thinking it was going to be like an anime, and it pretty much was, and I wasn't disappointed. I agree. I wouldn't say it's a five star, but I would probably give it a four. Mm. That's rough. That's that's too much. Uh, I'm going to give it like a three. T's like, bitches? LOL. Hello, Kerbo. A three? I feel like a three is rough. It I, is. Th I don't feel like there's really anything I disliked. The only reason I'm giving it a four instead of a five is because I don't think it did anything like outside of... Like, there weren't any points where I was like, oh my god, you know, like this is so... Freaking good. Wait a second. T gave it a three and a half slash five. Three out of five. Three point five out of five. Oh. Niffler liked it. Cool. Chelsea. Hello, Chelsea. Did you read it? So, what so, did you read it? Um what I didn't. So basically you can't really say what you liked about it. No, I mean I had just enjoyed kind of like how it was written. I mean, I went into it knowing it was just gonna be kind of a slasher thing. That's what I expected. Niffler gave it a four. Um, there was actually like the part where I, I mean, I saw the movie years ago, so that's kind of how I knew it was just going to be kind of like a slasher thing. And I didn't really expect it more. Wasn't, it, it's but not a, it's not a slasher. It what really is, is. What is a slasher? But I, I kind of like the way that a, I feel like there's two different ways that they try to make you remember the characters. So, all right, give me a name. The, my Nintendo was one of them. And that's just because wasn't Shogo, the guy that won last time, I think. And there was Shuya. Then there was Narita. Na so we pretty much all, it's a, it's a, we all agree that it's, 3.7. We all agree that it's like a pretty average book. It's nothing special, right? I, I don't know. Like I enjoy it. I think microphone. it's, I think it's definitely above a lot of the other stuff that I've read this year. Yeah, you just, you just. But that's not saying a lot because you just read a lot of garbage this year compared to the rest of Oops. the stuff. I literally just said I you're like hitting. I was like, hit you're it. hitting the microphone. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Noriko Nakagawa. So that was one of the the main ones. And then there's Shuya was one of the main ones. And then Shogo. Yeah, like I said. So like those were like the three at the end, right? But... I feel like one of the cool ways they kind of did it was giving them all little backstories. You may not really remember that, like, this backstory was for this person, but when they introduced that person, they would bring up little pieces of their backstory so you, you would remember, like, oh, yeah, this is the person that did this or this was the person that had that in their background. Also, the numbers helped me because I remember numbers far better than I remember names. So the fact that a lot of times they were, like, number... This, this, and this, you know, this person number this died. And I was just like, oh, okay. So that kind of helped. helped. Me. Yeah. Okay. But it sounded like you, Miko. But what about story? I, it kind of gave me what I expected, but I actually didn't hate the ending. I was shocked by the fact that um, 
Shogo was in a previous game. Was it the prior year's game? I don't know. You got something out of the game, or, or you got something that I didn't. So there was a, a portion of the end that I wanted to ask you guys if, like, what you thought. So he came up with this thing where Shogo purposely got put into the game again to kind of. I just bring don't. It down. I didn't. I didn't think that you could get put in twice. I thought that like once you went well, in, even when the kids like heard about it, they were just like. Oh, you can do that? He's like, yeah, you can get put in twice. Oh, I, I zoned out for part. I and was just, then there was that other kid, remember, his father was, like, in the government, and they were like, how did you not get, like, you know, uh, weeded out or whatever because your dad's, like, high up in the government, and they were like, it doesn't work like that. But like, I feel like it should be like that because it's, a, it's, like, not the government thing, but, like, the Hunger Games, right, where once you're in, you don't have to go I in feel, again yeah. unless there's some sort of special event that would then bring you in. Um, I did just read crap this year, basically. My favorite book was a romance. That's telling you something. <laughs> um, I went into it with low expectations. I thought I wouldn't like it. So I just thought that the whole, I, I think it would have made a lot, a lot better of a show. I kind of want to go back and watch the movie, but I Correct me if I'm wrong. I thought a girl won in the end, and I thought it was one person that won. I could be wrong because I, I watched it literally over 10 years ago. But Well, the last time you watched it. Was before you, before but, I met you. But the last time you watched it was with me. We didn't watch it together. Pretty sure we did. I'm pretty sure we did not. Pretty sure we did. Pretty positive we did. Nice sniffler. Um, uh, so the whole middle of like the, the movie, but is that what happened in the movie? I kind of want to watch it now. Cause at the end, he basically pretends to kill them. She said, I think you're right about the movie. Oh, and then like in this one, he sneaks them onto the boat, but then he ends up dying, which I thought was pretty cool. I honestly might give this a 4.5. Wow. I, I don't know why I really liked it. And I'm shocked that you guys are so like, meh. I'm the only one that really didn't like it that much. I just think that the whole middle of the book was like super boring. I, See, didn't, I didn't find it boring. I'm just telling you what I think. And I have an opinion. Go ahead. All right. So the whole middle of the book, I think, was like, was way, I don't know, maybe because I know that like, mo like I know the rules of the game and I know that if not all of them are going to die, maybe one will survive, you know? So I just like, I just didn't feel like getting invested in all of these random idiot kids and i don't know i just never felt anything for any of them even like the two main characters i was just like i don't really care and i, and I was just kind of hoping hoping that they would die i was like, oh, like i the, hope i, I feel hope like they the die people that lasted in the end were kind of like the good people they're like not the good people but they were probably like the more wholehearted people but i don't know like i i even though yes i i do understand like YT thinks that some parts were long and not necessary, but I feel like the author was trying to make you have some sort of connection with people because they're just a bunch of names and numbers, essentially, and you don't know anything about these people going into it. So they were trying to, A, give them personality, B, make you remember them, and let you know that some of these people, maybe they're crappy people and they don't deserve to really be around as much as others, and I think that's what they were trying to do. I don't know if I think Hunger Games was better. Oh, yeah. It was he way said better. Hunger Games was better. I, way I don't better. know. It was Hunger way better. Games, the longer that goes by without me reading the Hunger Games, I'm just kind of like over it. No, it was really good. Hunger Games was great because it had like it had a story. It followed a character and it followed their like journey. And it was a lot more interesting compared to like just people just trying to hide and survive and like, you know, being like, I don't know. It just, it, this one is just like the whole middle of the book was just very boring. I just, the only time that I cared was at the very beginning when I was learning about the world and you know, the government and the fact that I thought was going in that it was like a one time thing. Like I thought it was a special government organization that like randomly chose a, a group of kids I, I didn't like, realize that it was uh, it was like a yearly thing or whatever that they yeah. do all the time. Well, I went in thinking that too, but I think that's because that's how the movie kind of portrays it. 
Mm-hmm. Like the movie, if I remember correctly, made it where Which it was like don't. the first one, though. Yeah. So I kind of went in thinking like, oh, this is going to be like mind blowing to them. I'm going to be honest. If I were in this world and I was going on a class I'd move trip to America, I'd be like, I'm not going on any class trips ever. If I knew that this was a thing, I would just move to America or try to move to America yeah. because everyone agrees with you. They all think Hunger Games is better. Oh, it's way better. Um, I enjoyed it. Not a new favorite, but I did enjoy it. I was this one seemed like it was like a smart one survived though. This one seemed like it was like a a one shot, you know, like it was like, there's, there's no sequel to this. I'm kind of okay with that. Sometimes I just need, I get it. A one shot. But it also, I, I usually don't, I, 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 you know what? I almost never do unless I get pleasantly surprised. Like, um, Hail Mary was good. Games brought hope with Katniss's journey. I guess I will say, and I'm not going to spoil. And Hunger think about Games it. You actually here. cared about Katniss, right? You didn't care about these people. You didn't. Let's be honest. Bit. You hoped that somebody would live, but you didn't really care. At the end of the day, I at the end of the day, when hoping, Shogo died or whatever, did you care? I did because he was the person I was actually hoping would survive just because he's already survived once. I was like, that would be cool. And I just, if he made the it. ending just felt like they were, he was like, he was like, okay, I didn't really think this through the, the, the author. I didn't really think this through. So I'm going to just make up some random thing about how they survive, how they get on the ship through it over though, through an anchor. As far as hunger games goes, the one thing that I thought was super cool was how it ended. Like the final part, the final piece to the story i was like that is almost fate (laughs) like which kind of sucked but who would have kids in a country like this i don't know i didn't have any favorite characters niffler said no you did not i don't know i feel like i i just i enjoyed myself i don't know if i'm gonna give it a four or 4.5 maybe a four i'm gonna give it a three but right it was just like i personally enjoyed it a lot like i I went in expecting basically this but it why did it take you so long to read it then it actually kind of exceeded my expectations a little bit because i was reading a lot this month i was stuff that i wasn't supposed to i was cruising through it because i was just like i don't care i don't care i don't care hurry up and die i know that you're gonna die it's just like it's like one of those things that like i i knew i knew what was going? It's like if I imagine if you had to reread it right now, it would be so boring. That's how I felt. I felt like I was rereading a mystery that was a very simple mystery, and it was just like the second time that I read it, so I already knew everything, and I pretty much already knew the first time I read it too. And now I was just reading it again for some reason. Niffler said, "I think three point five. That's fair. I don't know. I'm just glad we all agree that it's not like bad and it's not amazing." So we no, pretty I don't think it was in. bad at all. I don't think it was bad either. I just obviously I gave it a higher. I, rating obviously, than most I gave it a three. You know, it's not something I would reread. Never. Now I want to read Hunger Games again. Nah, I'm good with that. You could read it. <laughs> I, I'm just like I've already read Hunger Games a couple times, so I'm just. I only read it once. I never watched the last movie. I don't think. Now, what was weird? What was weird about this book? Yeah. Um. Oh, apparently there's an afterword. Mm. To this whole thing with a whole bunch of information that I didn't read. I wasn't in the audio. But, um, yeah, the audio book was completely different than the physical book. So, like, I think that this is, like, a, it was this specific edition was, like, a new translation. Really? And it's supposed to be, yeah, a, literally, a new translation. Hmm. So it was retranslated, and I think it was supposed to be more accurate. And the audio book was the older translation. So if you tried to read along with it, it was like damn near impossible. Interesting. <clears throat> it was very, very different. Like the similar similar theme. It was the same story. Yeah, it was the same story, but it was per sentence per sentence. It was so different that it made it like impossible to follow along, which sometimes I do that. Like I read along with the audio book or I read pieces, you know, I go Every back. Every time and I see this, I thought things. it was a, like a squid leg. Oh, yeah, huh? It's a chick with the sickle, right? Yeah. I thought this person's hair was cool. Yeah. It was like a silver hair person. It's a cool addition. Yeah, so th- it was weird. Do it, Emperor Palpatine by Niffler. Um, wait, you're going to leave before we talk about our next book club pick? Shoot. So we got this recommendation originally years ago from his friend. Years ago? Yeah, it's been a long time. Wow. 
And then T the other day was like, well, why don't we read this? So thank you to T and Jeff. Thank you. I don't want to thank them yet. Reading Black Prism by Brent Weeks. Can you read me the synopsis on that? I have no idea what this is even about. Oh, my God. Holy cat Oh, my hair. God. Can you just read it, please? Guile is the prism, the most powerful man in the world. He's a high priest and emperor, a man whose power, wit, and charm are all that preserves a tenuous peace. Yet prisms never last, and Guile knows exactly how long he has left to live. When Guile discovers he has a son born into a far kingdom after the war that put him in power, he must decide how much he's willing to pay to protect a secret that could tear the world apart. You usually like his suggestions. You know, he didn't suggest that to me, though. He did years ago, and you told me about it, and I was like, oh, I own that book, oh. but I never read it. Um, don't thank me. Wait until after we read it. I love this series. It's one of my favorites, said Chelsea. But Chelsea also likes some bad books. Uh, okay, well. Just just saying. So. But she I, also likes some good books. I have heard. So it's difficult to judge. I don't think I've ever heard anyone dislike this series. I will say that people, um, the only bad thing I've ever heard about this series is they say the author is like. Um, Racist? No, like, uh, write stuff like against women. Yeah, like hmm. basically like degrades women and stuff like maybe that. Maybe I'll maybe I'll like that it. stuff. Doesn't trigger me. Maybe so I'll like it then. I don't really care. <laughs> um, doesn't bother me. It usually, like it, it doesn't take me out of the story. Like I know, <clears throat> I know it does trigger certain people. Is it just me or am I extra shiny? We're both shiny. She read she read Way of Kings like every year. No, I know. Chelsea has some good good choices. Look, I disagree with Kai Vox half the time about books. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I would say 10% of the time you disagree with me. I disagree fully disagree. With quite a few people. It's very rare that I find someone where I fully agree 100% with their book choices. It's impossible. There's no one in the world like that. Yeah. Book opinions are like fingerprints. Right? Yeah. Got a boo-boo. Dude, he ran his elbow across basically a saw. It was off, too. Like Basically a knife. Let's just say a knife. Yeah. With the teeth up like this. I just, like, I was grabbing something. I just, like, slid across and knocked yeah. it down. And just Japanese like, style, backwards. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, it's a huge book again. You suggested it. You suggested it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget this. I still haven't finished two of my books from last month that I'm supposed to read. Or I this finished. Month. I think I only finished two so far. We have to do our wrap up and our TBR. Word dog. But. Word bird. I'm going to have to finish two books basically from this month, next month. Mm. So that's a thing. That's Because cool. I've read a lot. Well, I've read four books, I think. Mm. But two were things. I've heard a lot about this book over the years. It used to be really hyped. Hold on. When did this come I out? I think we're bugging out. Are we back? Okay, I think we're back. All right. We froze there for a sec or two. 2010. Oh, my God. That's a classic. That's too old. I can't read old 12 books. 12 years. I can't read old. books that are older than, like, three unless they're Brandon Sanderson. Or I have read them before. I never end up liking them. Any old books. This isn't written old, though. Your face is written old. It's definitely not. Based on this There's sentence. a map! Show me the map! Show me the map! Stop yelling, Show me the bro. map! Are you sure there's a map in my T edition? said there's a map. Oh, look, a map. <gasps> the Blood Forest. At Ash. <laughs> How would you read it? <laughs> Atash. Atash, okay. Tyria, Paria, Peria, Ruthgar, the floating city, Greenhaven. Where's the floating city? Oh. Anywho. Greenhaven. Chelsea said it is a classic. There's a Port no, no, Haven. But he means classic. I'm not sense. reading it. I'm not reading it if it's a classic. You just I'm not it. reading it, Chelsea. Thanks a lot for ruining the book it's for me. It's not written Thanks in a classical a lot. manner. Like. 
Chelsea. Wheel of Time or something. The magic system in this one is fun. There's magic in this? It's based on, like, I'm light, back in. Light magic. Pop me back in. Kind of like... Put me in, coach. I'm like ready. Is it Way of Kings or is it different? Because it's light magic. Is it Way of Kings that has light magic? Yeah. Radiance. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Um... But I do hear good things about the magic system in this series. I don't even know how many books are in this series. She said it will be a classic. Like a new age classic, right? Because it's definitely not written. Stop up. saying classic. You're 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 making me nervous. It's not written like that. There's a Karis in this book. <gasps> it's spelled different. I'm extra in now. It's spelled differently. Put me in, coach. Put me in. Five books. Jeez. What's five books? There are five books in the series? Hmm. Word. I hope this is good. Me too. I have something in my eye now. <laughs> Wrong eye. <laughs> Ew. Dude, that was so gross. That was so gross. You got that in my tea. You're dead. Don't. <laughs> Tease that I had the same reaction as Kaimax with Karis. <laughs> it's like K-E-R-R-A-S, I think. There's this. a Karis in our game. Did you know that? There's a Karis in our game. It's definitely not written old school. Did you hear me? Yeah. Did, did you we remember that? We met him, did we? No, he's a god. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I love this gonna... Karis. My friend named her daughter after her. Oh, it's a girl? Oh, no. I'm now, out. Now I'm out. Take me out, coach. Again. Take god me out, coach. Someone give him something to be excited for Take again. Take me out, coach. I can't do this anymore. Take me out. Karis, girl, get out. Get out. Take me out. Karis can't be a girl. What? There's a map. You can't you reuse the same the same fight arguments. Chelsea said she's a badass girl. Oh, that's worse. She said that it might be my book girlfriend. Badass women are okay if they're not bitchy about it. And if they're, if they're bitchy about it, then I immediately don't like them usually. Like And if they're not if they don't make a point to say how awesome they are. And that they're awesome women. You know what I mean? What if about, they're just written well, like, as cool characters. What's the chicken the end? way of kings? Um, Mel Mel Melange. That's the, the spice melange. Um, she's cool. Shalon. Yeah, she's neat. Because she doesn't act like she's The spice super Shalon. She's been through some crap. All right, stop spoiling stuff now. Yeah, now I don't want to read it anymore again. You know it's bad when there's a character list that's like 10 pages long? There's a glossary. There is that. There's that one. It's 626 pages. How it's, many hours? That's uh, all that really matters. I, I, pages mean it's nothing prism, to me. prism, color, light magic. I don't know how to explain it. Oh, yeah, prism. That makes sense, like hey, a rainbow. Hey, no 17 years old and the synopsis true, so that's a win automatically. The Spice Melange. Let me look up this 21 book. 21 hours. Do we have it? I don't know if we have it. Do we have it? I finished Overlord 3. You don't have to search for it because if I, if I bought it, relax, it was a long dog, time ago. Relax. And if I bought it, it's probably because it was on sale for like five bucks. Priz. Nothing. Yep, we have it. 21 hours. T already said that. I already told it to you. Oh. He just weren't listening clearly. You were telling me to look stuff up. No. I wanted to see if we had it. There's two audio versions. What? Why, T? Why? Why, T? Why do you, why do you have two? Why is there two audio versions? That's Chelsea. Chelsea. That Chelsea. Said that. Sorry. Chrissy said my library has the audio book. Nice. I probably bought it when it was like $5. Brent Weeks. Yeah. It's good ratings. I downloaded 13, it. 13,000 ratings. She's like, I'm not the one who said that. I'm not everyone. <laughs> you know what else has good ratings? This has pretty good ratings. Yeah, here. that I'm not allowed to read, so Let thanks. Me see. see, title detail. Ready for these good ratings? Yeah. That's pretty good, right? Get the one that has the same narrator as the rest of the series. Well, how do I know that? Yeah, and we already bought it. We're not I getting anything bought it else. Like a million years ago. We're not getting anything else, dude. Stop telling me to stop telling us to spend money. Jeez, guys. Cheese and crackers. Let's see if I have the correct one. You know what? 
I think I have the right one because mine, the one that's in my library is like narrated by the same one as the other books in the series. Is the series done? Is the five books all that there yeah. are so far? I'm there sure will be done. Overlord is only only has four books that are out so far. Pretty disappointed about that. I don't. I didn't even see an option on Audible to not have the one with the same narrator. There are dramatized adaptations though, with like a million voice actors. Oh, that's dope! Is it the whole thing? It's like do one section of it. There's three of them, and they're each twenty four dollars oh. or something. Oh. oh no, the first one's twenty four dollars, and the other ones are fifteen. Oh. So like each book. They don't even is show three. you a time. How much time? Oh, what? No, thank you. I'm sure that's super cool. But I'd Wait, really let's have listen to listen to an excerpt. I'd have to like the thing. This is part one of three, and it's already like 20. Why don't you turn oh, it up? It has like music and stuff. You don't stuff. even like turn it up. like. Simon Vance. That's the one I have. All right, cool. Chelsea said, yes, it's done. Chelsea, this is on you, bro. If this no, book is not. bad, this if this is, book is we're, bad. We're blaming Jeff. No, I'm blaming her because she's the one that got me hyped. Okay. Tea? She's saying or that it's Chelsea. really good. It's one of oh, her yeah. favorite series. It's All going right? to be a classic. Those it's are big words. It's going to be a classic. Those are big words. Then be big words. So we all know who to blame next weekend. Maybe you can't or get next, the other one anymore. Next week, guys. That's the one I have in heat. Next month. What? We all know who to blame next Wait, month. Wait, when is it? Next month, in roughly 30 days. T did suggest it. it 28th. 24th, July 24th. 31st. Oh, I was looking no, at May. 31st. We have extra time. 31st. Wait, what? July. Oh, July. Because there's a one last day. Oh, yeah. It's it's on the last day of the year, the month. Yeah. Yes. Isn't that Harry Potter's birthday? I don't know. I suppose is this something I'm supposed to know? What am I, his dad? <laughs> I'd be dead too soon. What am I, his godfather? Wait, he's dead too. What am I, his mom? Everybody's what his dead. Mentor? What? Dumbledore. His mentor. What am I, his mentor? My li library has all the audiobooks. Nice. I don't have all the books, but if I like this one, I will buy them as I read them. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Maybe we can make book two, the book club book, next month if we liked it enough. Just keep going until we finish them all. I really do. There's, you have a less so, chance. So, of guys, getting here's the thing. I people. I would love for maybe next year for us to read a book that I want to read <laughs> as a group, okay? And I will reread it. Yes. Yeah. Next year, though, I I really I want like everybody to read it together because I want to see what you guys think. You're probably gonna hate it, except for T and Meek, but the rest of you don't usually like the same books. Is that, that Harry I like. Potter's birthday? July 31st, 1981. God, he's so old. 1980. Oh, my God, he's even older. So he's 42? Oh, my God. Imagine if you were born, like, in 84. <laughs> that would be crazy. All right, thank you guys for hanging out with us. That was fun. I had fun. The book wasn't terrible. Hopefully this new book, Prism, The Black Prism, is uh, is cool, too. classic. Yeah, hopefully it becomes a classic and we love it so much. Chelsea. I'm I'm putting my faith in you, Chelsea. Now you set the bar too you high. You set the bar high. I had no hopes for this. I thought it was going to be just a weird. I heard it's dark. Well, yeah, that's like the only thing Jeff said today when I was like, hey, we're, like, we're reading that book you suggested. He didn't seem he very excited like, either. Oh, yeah. He's, he's like, like, that book's dark. He's like, yeah, it's pretty good. It's dark. It was pretty good. He seems like he doesn't like dark books, though, very much. Like I don't really He said either. that about a couple books that we've read, and I'm like, yeah, but it was really good. I don't really like dark Like, books I either. find that book, that Shadow of the Conqueror or whatever, was really dark, but it was still that. really good. I had, had dark themes, but I think. It's a dark book. I guess. They were literally Brandison fighting. will be a classic. He's already they, they a classic. They were literally fighting shadows in that, too. Chelsea said it is dark. So Jeff and Brandon Chelsea Brandon Sanderson isn't good. a classic. He's a legend. Okay, he has become a legend he to has. me in yeah. my heart. He, Dude, I can't he wait will till always we start be a legend. Getting our boxes and stuff, and in. and we're getting we audio finish, books with them, right? Yeah, but we have to finish the Cosmere. Don't so worry, we, can we read got the them. whole year. 
You know, it's already halfway done. We got the whole rest of the year. We got to read. You got a two to read. I only have one. Oh, no. And they're like 30 hours. I generally like dark books. I don't know if I've read something truly dark. Like I said, Shadow of the Conqueror was pretty dark. I'm not a fan of dark either. Excuse me. I no, like she said she is. She likes them. I said... but You said either. Oh, sorry. I misspoke. I'm not a f big fan of dark stuff. Like, I don't know. I like to enjoy things, and I feel like sometimes if it's too dark and, like, a weird topic, it's just like, why am I making myself, like, sad? It depends on the kind of dark. If it's fantasy dark, then What it's is okay. fantasy dark? But, like, if it's, like... Contemporary, like just people dying and like know. about cancer maybe, and junk. I don't like that may, stuff. Maybe it's just because like, like, like Mistborn was pretty dark. It's a pretty dark book. But I, I don't really see it as dark. I don't it know. Is like, pretty dark. I know, but like, I don't feel like that's dark. I feel it's like what you just, dark. I feel like what you just mentioned is dark and morbid and not morbid fun. Is different. I to me, it's the same. Like well, then what the hell is dark then? Exp give me, give, tell me what I dark. I feel like. Reading a contemporary book that's dark is more about like real life situations and making people sad and junk and like making you feel. It's morbid. Yeah, but like. But you just said morbid dark is different. It's just like lots of killing and that's stuff like fantasy. that. That's fantasy. That's just regular fantasy. Look what happened in D and D today. It's still dark topic. Look what happened in D and D today. Okay. You guys just took out a like bunch of dudes. Eight. You guys killed eight guys. We kill, we, we made one unconscious oh, and yeah. dragged him across the floor. Just dragged them. And then left them out there. Who knows what's going to happen to him now? Oh, my God. We forgot about that guy. We got to go back. You did. <laughs> T's right, character guys. just ran around like a maniac and didn't do anything. And Yubiko was falling asleep that last tap. Yeah. Uh, she's like, I also like humorous stuff. Contemporary dark is not my thing. Fantasy dark is more my thing. I didn't know fantasy dark was like a she term. She said I didn't kill anyone. All right, guys. All right. She's like, I just ran around like a crazy person. All right.